What's up, everybody? It's Keefe from Ghost Cult Magazine, ghostcultmag.com, and I'm here with the one and only Lord Araman from Dark Funeral. How's it going? Yeah, very good. It's been a good day. It has been a good day. We just got finished with the show, Septic Flesh, Dark Funeral, and Thy Antichrist. You guys played an amazing show uh, to this sold-out crowd tonight. It was really epic. Thank you. Yeah, what a performance. Here, let me get, help you out here. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Once again, awesome show tonight. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, five years since you've been to the U.S. Been a bit, uh, a bit of a minute. You had a record out in the meantime. Uh, what's it like coming back here after a long break? Uh, it's pretty self amazing. You know, we couldn't expect this kind of response. You know, there was just over a month or so. Uh, we've been taken by surprise and the, the massive uh, reactions on the crowd over now. So it feels extra good to be back. Uh, you know that you can come back sooner again. You know? Yes, of course. And, you know, uh, kind of one of my questions for, for you was, you know, it's difficult to be a touring band from Europe. You guys are coming over here from Sweden. Uh, visas are expensive. Flights are expensive. To book a tour in advance, sometimes half a year in advance, before you announce it and sell a ticket, it's challenging, right? Indeed. Uh, <coughs> we were just talking about it earlier today. Um, the, the first tour with that we have with so much expense before we even went on the flights and I was kind of worried uh, a little bit stressed about it and I was like fuck this is doesn't feel good you know but then uh, you know everything has been going so well merch sales have been good which is you know helping out to, to cover all the expenses and after just a week we were doing so good that I felt like okay now I can relax we're not going to come home that broke and, you know, with lots of bills to pay, so. Well, thank goodness for that. Um, actually, I was observing the merch line was out the vestibule area and up the stairs tonight for all the bands. So I definitely saw a lot of your merch selling and moving. I think some of your shirts are gone for the tour, so I think that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, we went to a live three times on the tour, and we're on the hundred CDs, yeah. That's right. Um, so yeah, man, uh, I'm just pumped. This this tour is really a, an incredible package of bands. We don't get this kind of extreme package all the time. Uh, although obviously the fans are here with a sold out venue, and uh, you know we've had some problems here in the state recently. Uh, Take had their whole tour canceled. Obviously, it's not uh, you know the same situation, but uh, you know we, there was some talk from my friends here in the crowd tonight. Like I hope. Wittain doesn't get shut down. I hope Septic Flesh, nobody protests or bothers them in other cities. So uh, is that something you guys talk about at all or worry about, or you just do your thing? Yeah, we do everything, <coughs> and uh, I don't think there's going to be any problem you know, for us. <coughs> so, yeah, we just keep on going. Nothing can stop us. Awesome. I like that. Uh, yeah, it's a bummer, man. Uh, when these shows get shut down, kids and uh, everybody else looks forward to this all the time. We don't get... Again, th this size venue doesn't get a lot of these kind of shows, so this is really special. And uh, I know a lot of people felt the disappointment, but I'm glad you guys are powering through. Of and course, you know, we thank you for the support of stuff. We, we <coughs> went through that a couple of times and we kind of thank you. But uh, as you said, nothing can really stop us, and we're just going to keep on going. And people can try to stop us, but, well, they will never win. So. Nice, they will never win. Um, I know that uh, when you guys were coming up uh, back in the day in the 90s, uh, I know it was a little more conservative over in Sweden from what I've been told uh, than now. How was your last record received back home? Did you have any uh, pushback from people? No, uh, <coughs> we, I think the, the last record has probably been the best so far. And we even won the biggest music prize in Sweden. Uh, so that was a big surprise. But, but we're doing really well over there. Awesome. Um, I definitely wanted to also ask you, um, you know, being that you guys were one of the original Swedish black metal bands uh, and at the time really cutting edge and uh, big, have you uh, paid any attention? I know uh, the Lords of Chaos book was, you know, uh, a thing a few years back and now the movie is coming out directed by uh, Jonas Ackerland. Is that anything interesting to you or not interesting to you to uh, revisit? I remember the, when the book came, I read a little bit about it or in it and I thought, It was like written from someone from a different world, but I, you know, I was in Middle East and I couldn't recognize everything that was going on in the book. Uh, of course, everybody had their own, you know, experience and, and the situation, 
that uh, I cannot relate to, to it at all. And this proof that I'm going to prove first, and that I uh, from an out of bound computer that felt also I deserve to have that attention. That was important for the CM in the beginning, and they don't even mention it. But that's, uh, you know, I know that nobody really supports the film. Nobody who's portrayed in the film is that not the movie. So it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's I understand that it is a story that has to be told. But the thing is to get, you know, backup from the people involved and, you know, who were there or that can live with. Uh, so right I on. I don't know. We'll see how everything's going to turn out. But I, I don't know really about it. How I feel. Gotcha. Um, and apparently none of the music is also licensed for the film either, so it's not going to be any any memorable soundtrack or people get the flavor of the songs from the time or anything. Yeah, that's why I <coughs> can't understand why, why you have done it, why you and I have done it for the lyrics without, you know. Right. Really do I mean, if you're going to do one, a thing like that, you need to do it the right way, in the honest way. So, so we'll see how it's going to pan out, you know. So. Okay, right on. Uh, I just have a couple more for you, man. It's, again, thank you so much for meeting with us after the show. Um, I definitely wanted to talk about the artwork. I love all the Dark Funeral album artwork is usually very distinctive and super creative and definitely adds to the album. Um, Necrolord, right? You guys work very closely together. Can you talk a little bit about that process? <coughs> uh, well, we worked back in the day on the pictures of the Black Rock Rockers. And uh, I met him a couple of times over the years, and we, you know, we, we thought that, well, maybe we should work together again, because he was uh, such a great success with the pictures. And then we talked a couple of times, met a couple of times, and then I told him, you know, if you work on this record, it's time it's going to be 20 years anniversary on our coll collaboration. So it's not only, you know, it's in so many different things that's going to, make it great if we do do this now. And it's like, okay, let's do it. So, so well, we, we came to explain to him the music. I had him, you know, while I was writing, doing all the new songs, he was invited in a part of Dead Force wow. to listen to the music and be inspired by that. Uh, but that's what, how we want to do that. And I thought that, that's going to be the only right way to do it also to get the best result and uh, uh, he's really kept us on the loop ever till the day of deadline and I was like fuck you know it's deadline today I haven't seen it I don't even know how it's gonna be good the record company needs it so I was like shit he's like it's one take I guess fuck that's a quick release and then he just sent me a CD on the effort and I was like I just jumped straight into it and it's like it was just fitting everything I had, you know, in my mind for the, for the new record, the feeling, the vibe, the everything. I was like, fuck, how could we, you know, really get this right. so perfect? Uh, so that was really fun about it. Awesome. If any fans are coming out to the tour, the artwork uh, blown up as the backdrop looks just amazing. Uh, I hope everybody gets to come see it and appreciate it. Um, and speaking of anniversaries, and for my last question, I just want to say I know this is an anniversary year for you guys. Uh, 25 years as a band. There are some highlight albums that have hit anniversaries for you. Um, you know, what is your feeling? I know you guys are just still making, you know, you're very hands-on with the band. You're still creative and making uh, new music. You know, 25 years in anything is, is an accomplishment. How does it feel at this time? <coughs> uh, I mean, I guess, you know, for me, every day is the same in a way. You know, I just keep doing what I've done forever, you know. So I don't really think much about it, but this week, 25 years, well, it is, but it's like I only <laughs> care about my own birthday, really, so it's just an, a number. <coughs> gotcha, gotcha. But I really have to relate to that, so I, but I understand that many people make a big deal out of it, so that's fine. Anyway, for me, it doesn't really mean much. Okay. Not looking at the past, going forward. Lord Araman of Dark Funeral, thank you so much for spending some time with Ghost Cult. I'm Keefe from GhostCultMag.com. We're out. Peace. <laughs>